Greetings, viewer. Now, I got Movie Advanced Dino because I wanted the sideways mode, and it looked good in red. It has problems like these comically small feet, but I like this toy. I did, however, still want the Dino figure that turned into a Ferrari 458. Alien Attack Farage looked promising, but I felt it was a bit too complex for its size and plastic quality was apparently not very good. If it was me trying to transform it, I guarantee I would have broken something. Now, I could have gotten the Black Mamba oversized KO, but Unique Toys released Red Dasher here, so I uh, got him instead. And what a figure! Starting in vehicle mode, it's the 458 Italia no matter how you spin it. It's not my favorite Ferrari, but it's still a beauty. The rear, I admit, is a tad iffy, but it's all in service of the fantastic transformation you see later. And it could be worse. Looking at you, Universe Ironhide. Now, my copy's front wheels seem to rub on the, this part right over here, meaning that rolling is not the smoothest. Like, it does roll, but it just immediately stops after a bit. It's not that bad. It could be worse. There's brakes with calipers, all well painted. And speaking of paint, got the rims as well, the grills. It's all very, very nice. Now, for obvious reasons, there is no Ferrari badge found. Normally, I would be fine with that, but I feel like he needs a dash of yellow. Might check online to see about painting them. The side mirrors are not installed when you get it, you need to push it in yourself. It can be a bit tight, but persevere and you should be fine. Enough car talk. Let's show off his robot mode. Now, this is something I noticed when seeing Dash's transformation for the first time. It's similar to the Studio Series version. Now, it's not exactly the same, but it's the general placement of parts. The door wings are the doors. The side of the car turns into the legs. The whole upper car assembly accordions and becomes a torso. The use of a full chest, with the arms and head transformation being different in comparison. I like to believe Unique Toys used Hasbro's handiwork as a general base and used their higher budget and bigger size to their advantage to do stuff like hiding the front wheels. And when I say general base, I mean like placement of, of limbs somewhat. Not like just upscaling the thing and doing improvements like a knockoff company, just placements. It's probably not true, but it's a fun thought. And the end result is spectacular. He really looks like his CGI model. Mostly. The feet are wider and a tad off centered due to the wheels underneath. Plus side is it barely registers in your brain unless you actively look at them and gives his feet good traction so you won't slip around no matter what. Very nice. They also look like space fighters from the Star Fox franchise. Now you will never unsee that. Just like Dino having B's battle mark from his solo movie for a crotch. Did a shot on that. Now he did make use of a full part, but to bend and contort the 458's front fender headlight combo is nigh impossible. Alien Attack tried good effort on them, but it looked awkward to me. And with the chest design, you could very well mistake their headlights as just robotic greebles, like Lockdown, as you can see right over here. These are the headlights. They don't look like headlights at all. Moving on from that, articulation is also above average, able to pull off dynamic poses as seen in the movie with confidence. This wasn't in the movie, but I decided to put him in this pose for reasons. Then it looks like Sun Wukong. Anyways, I do have a word of warning. The shoulders right over here are painted, and for the right side of mine, it must have rubbed on something as it's chipped right over here and it's substantial as well. There is the upside because it's out of sight via, ironically, the placement of the chipping and, well, the head. Just cover it up and there you go. You'll never see it. So, that's a good thing, I guess. I'd still be careful though. 
Anyways, leaving Dino here to, I don't know, cosplay as the Monkey King, you got your accessories like his iconic dual blades. Right here, well sculpted, well painted, isn't articulated like the Alien Attack Toys version. Definitely would have liked to see that, but oh well. And you also get the claw hooks he used on Hatchet. Now both uses tabs, right? As you can see, on the back of Dino's arms, right up here, claw, it's quite large, so just pick any size and just plug it in like so. And then claw hook is also the exact same thing. Just find it. Just um, plug it in and there you go. This pose doesn't make sense for the accessories, but uh, never mind that fact. The hook makes use of a bendy wire to allow you to pose them in any way you want for more natural shots, I guess. This doesn't look natural, but uh, you get my point. Oh, and um, I almost forgot, but you also get cards, because all masterpiece stuff needs cards for reasons. I, I don't know why we need cards, but uh, here you go, you got one for him, your stats and Oddly enough, DX9 La Haya. I don't have La Haya, but I got his card. Yeah, whatever, I guess. With a simple but intuitive transformation, great possibility and weapons, nicely painted, for 148 SGD, I'd say it's money well spent. Heck, it's 100 USD on Show Z. I know it's 99.99, but that's effectively 100. It's like a few dollars cheaper than what I paid for. So, there's that. You're not gonna regret buying this guy. Uh, so, here's a last minute uh, comparison. And that's all for me. Hope this was helpful in any way, and I'll see you for Brawl's review.